How's it going guys and welcome to today's video. All winter long we've been following the progress of this aerated pasture and as you can see the cattle are now out there grazing so that can only mean one thing we have reached the conclusion of this experiment. What did we learn? That's what we're going to talk about today on Farmer Tyler Ranch. How's it going guys and welcome to the conclusion of the aerator project. Honestly, I wanted to give this field a little bit more time to grow. We've only really had probably a week of good warm weather that I would think um, would really wake the grass up. Unfortunately, I need to put cattle out here because I'm getting too low on hay um, to keep feeding them. And the cattle that I'm gonna put out here are going to be uh, yearling heifers so I need to get them on some good feed because they need time to you know um, grow and and get feeling good before the bulls come so today I'm going to walk around out here um, I've driven around out here already a little bit and I would just say I, I really can't tell much difference um, I know in the earlier videos I was Kind of trying to probably trying to see stuff that really wasn't there just because I really wanted this to work and um, speaking of that it's I you know I'm not, I'm not I'm not ready to call this a failure just yet mainly because this pasture is mostly warm season grasses so I mean if you look you know if we look at the ground like right now I mean this grass is not terribly tall because, like I say, this is mostly warm season grasses that are occupying this root space. So I'm still hopeful that maybe uh, when it really warms up and we start irrigating out here that we might see some differences then. And I might even try to aerate some of this again before I start irrigating and um, just kind of see, see what things look like. Now, someone brought up in the comments that I should try to aerate multiple passes and actually I think that's a really good idea and I think that would be especially good in conjunction with um, some overseeding and some fertilizer so um, if I still have access to this aerator next fall I think I will probably do that I'll try to aerate this twice and then on the second pass try to th throw out some seed and some fertilizer um, and I think that is where you're gonna see your biggest gains now this 12 acre field I'm putting yearlings out here today and we still have let's see right behind me there is an 8 acre field that also was aerated that I haven't shot any videos out there but um, it, it was definitely aerated at the same time actually that one might even show um, a little bit it would probably have a better chance of showing results because I had better weights on the aerator so I was able to penetrate the ground a lot better um, but like this field you know I'm just walking around out here and looking I purposely decided not to like mark on the fence line which checks were treated and which ones weren't and the reason for that was because I didn't want to you know kind of I wanted to fight the placebo effect basically if I knew a check was aerated I didn't want to try to see stuff that wasn't there because I know it was aerated so I didn't mark any of them so I kind of have forgotten which are which I mean I, I can kind of still tell out here which ones have been aerated just by looking at the ground but um, my hope for that was that the difference between the checks would be so clear that marking on the fence line wouldn't be necessary and what I'm kind of seeing out here is that there really is not a significant enough difference to tell which ones are aerated and which ones are not. So the other possibility out here is that, you know, and I, and I think this is actually pretty likely, is that aerating is not, it's not like throwing fertilizer out and you see a difference, you know, within a week or so. I think when you aerate, it's more you're playing the long game. Um, 
so like I say if uh, I'm gonna keep watching these pastures um, throughout the grazing season and and you know we'll just see it, it could turn out that I can start to notice some differences in July or you know I mean we, it, it's hard to say but I think that it is quite possible that you are doing you know it, it'd be like the difference between slapping a new coat of paint on a car fertilizing or rebuilding an engine so when you rebuild the engine you can't immediately see really any difference but in the long run it's better that's a pretty good analogy right so I would feel pretty comfortable in saying that aerating definitely does not hurt anything I mean like I say it's uh, it's tough to tell any difference between treated checks and non-treated checks so I would definitely not I've, I've heard some people say that they think aeration hurts because you cut the roots and stuff like that but I'm definitely not seeing any anything that would suggest that is the case all right so my final conclusion with this experiment is I'm gonna say inconclusive because I, I do still have some hope that that we've made some improvements out here I'm just I'm starting to think that maybe it's just not something that you're gonna see right away you know it it's gonna take time I think we're building the soil and improving uh, improving the soil and you're, you're not gonna see the benefits from that overnight that's what I'm thinking anyway so this pasture I'm gonna say is out of the experiment now because as soon as I bring cattle out here it's just gonna make it impossible to tell what um, if there's any differences this field next next door here on the other side of the fence the eight acres I'm gonna try to keep cattle out of there as long as I can but odds are I'm probably gonna have to put them out there next week or so before I do that I will run through and check things out if there's a change or anything that I think is worth you guys seeing I'll definitely let you know but um, at this point I think we're just gonna call this um, to be continued you know like I say we'll watch it through the summer and see if there's any changes not looking real promising now but um, I guess we'll call it good there thanks for hanging out with me today guys and I hope I'll see you again on farmer Tyler ranch mm -hmm.